Hello and welcome to Storysium. In this episode, we're going to look at a couple of options to create split screens in Premiere Pro. If you use them the right way, split screens can be a great addition to your project and can help you to tell a story. This editing technique has been used for years now in many films and series. Just to name a few examples, Fargo from 2015, 500 Days of Summer from 2009, and the classic from 1958, Indiscreet. So make sure you know how to edit split screens and maybe your next project will also become a classic. Anyway, in this tutorial I'm going to show you multiple ways to create a split screen, the basic version and the more complex one as well. And you should also know that all the clips that I use in this tutorial are free ones from Mixkit. You can find a download link for all the clips in the video description. So if you want you can download the clips and practice along with the tutorial. Ok, now it's time to jump over to Premiere and start some editing. Inside Premiere I've already got a couple of clips on the timeline. We're going to start with the classic side by side split screen. So in the first step I'm going to place the second clip on top of the first one. And then head over to the effects panel and search for the crop effect. I'll apply this effect to both clips and then select the top clip and move over to the effect control panel. Because I'm building a side by side split screen I need 50% of the width of the clip. So that's why I'll play around with the left and right value of the crop effect. But as I mentioned, 50% of the width should remain. So that's why I'll set right to 15% and left to 35%. In total, 50%. And after that, I can simply move the clip all the way to the left of the frame. Next, I'm going to select the bottom clip and then start by repositioning the clip. This way, I can already see the clip on the right side and see which part I want to keep. And after that, I can set the crop values for left and right both to 25%, simply because the subject is in the middle. If you like, you can also add a border between the two clips. You can do this by repositioning the clips and then move them slightly out of the frame. Another option would be to select the rectangle tool, which you can find here, and then draw a border on top of the two clips. If you're done making the shape, you need to go back to the selection tool by hitting the V key and then select the shape and move over to the essential graphics panel. And in here you can change the color of the border into any color that you prefer. Ok, let's now do a quick playback and see what we've got so far. Next I'm going to add a third video to the split screen. First I'll move the border graphic layer one track up and then place the third video underneath that one. Then I'm going to lower the scaling of this clip to 50% and reposition it to the left top corner like this. Now the important parts of the bottom clip are cut off, so we need to fix that somehow. What we can do here is scaling this video down as well. And I will also reposition the clip. But now we've got some black space here on the side of the clip and that is because we applied the crop effect. We can now simply select the crop effect and then inside the program monitor change the crop settings. Next I'm also going to add a horizontal border with the rectangle tool. Now I've got the rectangle tool selected, but in the program monitor I cannot draw anything and that is because we first need to select the existing graphics layer. Now you can start drawing a rectangle in the program monitor and once you're done with that you can hit the V key to go back to the selection tool. And with the selection tool enabled you can resize or reposition the border shape. And after that we can go to the essential graphics panel again and change the color. It's also always a good idea to look at how well the clips match in color. In this example, the clip on top is a lot more orange compared to the other two. So let's select this clip on the timeline and then head over to the Lemetri color panel. And just for the speed of this tutorial, I'll do a quick and dirty color grade in the creative tab. I will just add a bit more blue in the shadows and highlights. And this is what we've created so far. Another quick bonus tip here, side by side split screens can be a great option if you have a lot of footage that was shot vertical on a smartphone for example. These clips generally don't require a lot of cropping. This way you can still use your vertical videos in a horizontally oriented project without having a lot of blank space. In the next part of this video I'm going to show you how to make a split screen like this, after the quick shoutout to Mixkit for sponsoring this video. Mixkit is a great source for all kinds of free assets like stock video, music, sound effects, but they also have video templates like this logo animation. So be sure to check out the Mixkit website after you finished watching this video. Ok, let's go back to the tutorial. For the next one I've also got three clips ready on the timeline. I'm going to start by stacking the clips on top of each other. 
Then I'm going to head over to the effects panel and search for the radial wipe effect. You'll need the one that you can find under video effects transition, not the one that you'll find under video transitions wipe. I'm going to apply this effect two times to the clip of the woman drinking the coffee. With this radial wipe effect, you can cut out a part of your video by playing around with the transition completion value. And you can also choose an angle by entering a certain amount of angle degrees. And if you set completion to 50%, you will get this nice straight line. For this example, I'm going to set the start angle to 130 degrees. And then play around with the wipe center until it covers about two thirds of the screen. I'm going to do something similar with the second radial wipe effect, but here we're going to use a start angle of minus 50 degrees. And then also play around with the wipe center until both parts are equal in size. And then I can select one of the other clips on the timeline and then reposition and resize them where needed. And also select the bottom clip and resize and reposition the clip until it fills the space in the left bottom corner. Next we're going to add some borders, but first we'll need to zoom out. I think 50% will be better for now. Because we need diagonal lines, we cannot use the rectangle tool here, so that is why I will select the pen tool. You can now use the left mouse button and then draw a line over the border between the two clips. And you could use the blue points to align it a little better. But remember that the border will also cover up some imperfections. Next we can head over to the Essential Graphics panel and then disable the fill and enable the stroke. And then you could play around with the stroke thickness. In this case I would go for something like 10. If you want to add the second line then make sure to deselect the first one or you will get something like this. So let's undo this by hitting Ctrl plus Z and now we can deselect the shape by clicking somewhere here in the Essential Graphics panel. And now you can draw a second line which will use the same settings as the previous one by the way. And also here we can do some minor adjustments in the alignment if needed. And then we can set the program monitor back to fit and we're done. And again, let's have a look at what we've created. And that also concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more, then maybe check out one of these two videos. And as always, thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.